Hey, Mike, I was going to show you what I do for my raw image processing for my drone. So actually, this is a good example of one that has depth. I have a JPEG and the DNG. The DNG is the raw, and that's the one that really gives all the data um, for uh, really pulling in the sky. So, oops, it's on the wrong screen here. Okay, so this opened up automatically in Photoshop's raw image editor. The principles here are the same for any program. Um, I well, I know Photoshop best, so I like it, but I'll show you what's going on here. So this is the image as it came in. As you can see, we have uh, so a little bit blown out with the sunset uh, and stuff that's too dark. There is a ton of power in a raw image um, of data to be pulled from the highlights and the shadows in particular. And the dehaze also just clarifies the image. So, you know, hazy to well overdone, but if you just, sharp, I often just start by sharpening it a bit there. And then here is the big, so highlights, um, by pulling down the highlights, you're going to retrieve a lot of the data in the sky. And by pulling up the shadows, you get a lot of data in the, um, in the shadows. So already, all, I did almost nothing. And look at the contrast of that image. Um, and, uh, and then I will often play with the different... Um, uh, whites or blacks. I don't know if that's flashing for you. I think it's because I'm screen recording. Um, and then I'll often put just a little bit of boost in clarity and saturation. And then I'll generally go over here to the uh, curves and, and just finish out the lighting here. And this is super powerful. Um, you can play around with the lighting. So I like to pull the sky to where it's just popping. And you often want some sort of an S curve. Um, oh, let's go on anything too extreme. And then um, drone images often are just a little bit grainy in the uh, details, as you can see here. And so I do a little bit of noise reduction um, just to just to smooth that out. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. So now I open the image, and it's opening it up in Photoshop here. And there we go. Um, that is an image. I just save that. And that's an image that's ready to go that's really pulling in all these uh, vibrant colors. And let me just compare it to the original JPEG here. So same one. I'm just going to open up the automatic JPEG. And that would be this. So here is side-by-side -side comparison of the two images. So um, hopefully that helps. This is uh, the same principles can be done to video. Um, and you can pull out these same colors by, with video, especially if you're filming flat tones. It'll preserve more da data that way. Um, so that makes a big difference for video. For photos, just shoot raw. Always shoot raw. And there we go.